Guys, good morning. Every morning, I warm Paquito up because it's so cold and I had the heater running. My air conditioner is weird. Like, they fixed it, but, like, it still is getting to a point where it's, like, I'll set it at, let's say, 75 degrees to warm up the house. And then, like, overnight, it will just change to, like, 70 or 62. It's always those two. I don't know why. So I have to keep manually, like, putting it back every few hours. Anyway, I just received my, uh, what is it called? Gift set? Like, um, basically they offered, like, nine of Terry Savelle Boy's books for half off. So I was like, heck yes, what a great Christmas gift for me. Um, so I decided to get myself, I just finished this last night. Um, because it's really, like, quick <laughs> and short. And then I'm going to work on reading this one next. I don't know. She's just, like, such a cheerleader. She really is. I mean, she is called, like, the the cheerleader of dreams. But these are her... I think all of her books. I think she's read these. Yeah, I know she even has um, one in French, I think. Um, she's, like, huge in France, apparently. But, um, yeah... I'm going to slowly work on reading these, and, you know, she talks about um, her faith and God and all that stuff, but it also is mostly about, um, <clears throat> like, just going after your dreams, finding inspiration, finding motivation, and I am all about that. Like, my life literally revolves around that, nothing else. So I'm like, yeah, this is perfect. I'm just educating myself, learning more. So I'm going to work on uh, reading these um, over time when I can. And, uh, yeah, I took her course. I donated to the ministry. I mean, she's just awesome, like, overall. Like, just, I always mention her because... <laughs> Really, I mean, she has, like, helped me through a lot and just changed my life in general. So I highly recommend her. You can check her out at terry.com. Not sponsored, but I just, like, shout out. <laughs> I was so happy to get these books just on time for today's uh, Christmas Eve. So, yep. Hey, guys. I just want to make this very clear with you really quick. Um, the reason you don't really see much in these vlogs is because I do it on purpose. I keep my vlogs, like not so boring to the point where you're not watching obviously but it's like i just keep them boring for a reason um and i made an agreement with friends like i would never talk about them i would never share their private lives i would never vlog them anymore and we keep it private like that's an actual agreement we've had so like i i just choose actively not to share or overshare you know some things really truly are meant to be private and i do respect people's privacy now more than ever because I learned a hard lesson uh, a few years ago when I was um, um, like getting involved in a lot of drama with people's lives and it just wasn't cool you know it, it wasn't something I want to do again it's not something I ever want to go through ever again um, overall so yeah so uh, I just want to clarify that like most of these are at home when I have something new to share. And it's just like, you know, just my journal. Like, you don't write your journal on a public transport. You Well, maybe you do, but you don't want someone seeing, right? So, of course, my journal, I feel comfortable sharing in my own space, in my own home. And now that I'm alone, I have more time. And uh, I am spending Christmas with family. So, again, don't get me wrong. Don't think, like, I'm always alone. No, like, um, I'm going to see... Uh, another friend very soon and um, you know I, I just like I choose not to share that <laughs> I don't know I guess like I don't even like sharing when I'm going through like good things or something that sounds weird because like you know people don't necessarily care if you're going through good things they just want to hear the bad things um, and I get it I get it like people don't like to hear of other success people like to hear of others pain I really do get it but um also, I'm conflicted because some of you do like to genuinely hear good things. And it's like, you know, so um, we'll see. But I don't like to overshare my private life because um, 
there's some other really good things to it that I just can't talk about in here anymore. And I used to talk about it and people were like, oh my God. Um, yeah, just saying nasty stuff to me. So it's like, it's not even worth it anymore. I, I, I'm just like choosing to be boring, just to avoid drama, just to have peace. Cause that's all that's important. I want you guys to have peace. I want you to like have someone you feel like you can spend time with, you know. Um, I understand exactly how it feels like to be lonely. I really, really do. And sometimes, like, some days you get so lonely, it's like, let me pop open this vlog video of some of my favorite YouTubers. And just, like, it just feels like you're spending time with them. It feels like you're just with them, you know. And it feels so comforting, uh, especially now during the holidays. I hope you guys are, again, staying safe and just, like, I guess in a way avoiding the feelings of loneliness somehow I, I wish i knew the answer i really don't i'm also a long-term sufferer sometimes it, it comes in waves like most of the time i'm fine i actually prefer to be alone which is why i was like oh my god like i didn't want my family to move but at the same time it was like their decision and i was like i was happy at the same time because i was like i know how much i like being alone but it gets to a point where it's like addicting it really is like <laughs> yeah so uh, I know the the consequence of that so it's like you know I'm always keeping myself in check I was going to mention this in the last vlog but I, I totally like forgot because I keep going off a tangent basically when I can afford a good therapist and I mean a really good one then I will get one um you know I don't feel personally there's something wrong in my life I feel like if you focus that something's wrong you'll only make your problems worse right so I just choose peace and I, I love the teachings of the word of God and Buddha and all that, as you've seen. So, um, you know, I, I mix a lot of beliefs. I'm not like one belief, one religion kind of person. No, like I don't have one specific ideology. I just like kind of mix them all together and combine them into my own, make it my own and my experience of life. So that gives me peace. And I, I've gotten the best type of therapy. In fact, hypnotherapy, like that's the best, the quickest, the fastest, the easiest, uh, the most methodical from like literally the best school and I paid huge money for that and it's helped me through so much that to the point where I like I don't feel crazy anymore I don't feel like I even need therapy anymore um and you guys don't know that because I don't share a lot maybe I did share I don't know but like some new viewers on here they don't know that about me they don't know a lot about me and what I've been through and what I go through and I've even spoken to a psychologist and like I've gotten all sorts of help from all sorts of walks of life uh, very gifted, intuitive uh, psychics as well. And, and I just, you know, I know I'm, I'm pretty solidified as who I am as a person. I'm still trying to figure myself out. I'm only 26, but at the same time, you know, I'm getting there to the point where I'm like having the self-realization where I don't feel the need to like feel sorry for myself anymore, be low self-esteem or like feel like something's wrong with me. I really don't, you know, and an outside observer can observe that and think there is because I'm so different from them, perhaps, you know, but I'm no better or different than other people. I really am not. I mean, I'm I'm literally living some days like the same day over and over again. I'm like, there's nothing really special or going on in my life. Like, but it doesn't bother me because, you know, I have my dreams, my goals, my visions, and that keeps me going. And uh, that's what I choose to focus on, you know, so um, <clears throat> and you know, you may think I need help for after what happened to me, but I've been through worse, honey. I really have. And um, even after all those traumatic experiences, I still come out strong. And I, I just don't feel the need to, you know, I grew up in a era or I guess like a culture that really doesn't even believe in that stuff. They think like, oh, if you go to a therapist, something's really wrong with you. Like, the fact that you go to a therapist, something's wrong with you. Like, like they, they are so, I don't want to say closed minded. That sounds rude, but you know, um, in general, it's, it's like not a thing. Right. And so, uh, mental health is really ignored. It really is. So when I kind of opened up to the beliefs in this country, I was like really shocked that people are actually more open and accepting to it, especially nowadays more than ever before. I mean, of course, what's going on, like people are having these d these symptoms, these issues they're dealing with now more than ever. And it's so important to receive mental health therapy, you know. 
but also be mindful when you tell someone to go do that because it, it can also be hurtful as well you know you never want to like flat up say like you need therapy man like okay well warm me up first <laughs> like uh, you know maybe say something nice first and then you know uh just tell me in a i guess you know that's the ego getting in the way people don't want to necessarily hear the truth but at the same time it's like you know what you know and others don't know what you know right so <laughs> at the same time it's like there are specialists for that but um you know you can also argue that something is wrong with the person who doesn't want to go at all you see because um they do say like a person that chooses not to receive that type of therapy um already has something wrong with them because they they don't want to even enter because well after all the masks and the shells they hide it's all based on fear you're afraid of what you're going to be told you're afraid of what's they're going to say what they're going to find out about you people don't want their illusions destroyed that's all so uh when i can afford it when i'm ready i will do it right now i have so many bills <laughs> and especially since my family moved um i have a lot to take care of but once i pay off some debts i will definitely definitely consider it especially um if it means improving my life in a way that's more productive for me but for now i feel fine you know i, I don't feel like i'm going through a dark night of the soul like i used to or um anything wild you know i actually thought like i needed it at first after what i've been through but i was like well i got over it pretty quickly thanks to some <laughs> therapeutic advice <laughs> so um yeah so I, I do appreciate your guys concerns but i'm okay i will be okay um i'm a tarot reader but even i can't predict my own future i don't know what can happen in the future right if i ever feel the need like badly you know then i'll consider it um but for the time being, I'm all right. But I, I do understand the effects of also, um, for the most part, being by yourself. You know, I don't have a relationship. I don't have a friend that just lives across the street, you know. Um, so, and us all being asked to stay home and what whatnot is just like, it, it makes everything um, harder for sure. But at the same time, I don't mind because I, I don't you know. <laughs> honey, I'm an introvert. I've always been home. Like, this was a blessing to me. I'm like, I'm always home, child. Like, bring it on. Like, I, I can do a whole year. <laughs> I can do two years. I don't care. But yeah, anyway, um, that's why I like doing these vlogs as well, because I get to talk to you guys and keep in check with you about what's, um, what's been going on, basically. But don't, don't think that these vlogs are just my life. They're really not. Like, people have a false perception of my reality, and they think like, oh, this is it. But all you see is what I'm hitting record literally there's 23 hours and 30 40 50 minutes of the day left that you don't see right now so anyway guys take care bye bye